Hello friends, welcome to the new tech navigators. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how we have created this inventory management dashboard in Google Sheets. This is a ready to use dashboard and you can just input your data and it will reflect these all stats here automatically. This is the dashboard page wherein we are showing the total stock quantity, total stock value, average stock quantity, average stock value and number of product wherein restock needed. Here we are showing the restock needed by the supplier name and here we are showing the total stock value by the warehouse, number of item by status, total stock inventory by warehouse average stock value by warehouse and this is total stock value by category total stock quantity by category and average stock value by category so we have displayed almost all the things which are required to analyze inventory management dashboard now let me come to the second sheet which is the search sheet so here you can quickly search your data. Let's say by status, we want to select the wherein uh, low stock. So we have put here low and we can see status is low stock. Okay, or uh, we can select another column if you want. Let's say I want to see the uh, particular product that is printer. So I will just type here printer and enter. So it is showing the information only for the pro printer and it is showing all the transaction for the printer only okay or you can search it by the warehouse also so i want to search the warehouse a and then it is showing all information related to the warehouse a and here you can see the total record available here next sheet is the data sheet in the data sheet uh, we have taken the item id product name category warehouse supplier Stock quantity, reorder label, unit price in USD, total value in USD, and this is status, last restock date, and uh, here we have put uh, the recently restocked zero or uh, one, and here we have taken the restock needed zero and one. If it is required, then it is taking here one. All right. Now let me show you the support sheet also. In the support sheet, we have created a table and here we are showing the total stock quantity. That is the sum of the column F. So here in the column F, we have the stock quantity. So we are just taking the sum. This is the total stock value and we are taking the sum of column, column I. Okay, And uh, here you can see this is column I. Average quantity, that is the column F. Uh, and we have taken here average function similarly here we are taking the average for the stock quantity and then we are taking the restock needed the sum of that column the stock okay this one last one after creating this table what we are doing here we have created these all cards available on the top to create these cards we just have created first this rectangle shape to create the rectangle shape you can just create uh, design from the Microsoft PowerPoint. So let me move to the Microsoft PowerPoint here. We have a blank slide and let's insert rectangle shape and we will take this rectangle that is rounded corner and just drag this here in this way. Fill here white color and you can choose the shape outline. Let's say I'm taking this green one and then just make a copy of this. Come to the Google sheet and you can paste this here. And you can make it a smaller as you want and once this is done then you can just select let's say these two value then just insert a chart so here we can see it has created this chart let's go to the setup here and just convert this to the card so we have this card here so you can just select this one or you can scroll down and you can choose this one that is the scorecard Okay, so we can see this information here. Now you can customize this from the customize like you can take the key value font size around 30 or 36 and then you can change the chart title also align this center and change the size around 14 and just make it smaller and uh, for the key value also you can align this center. Then you can place this over that card like this okay 
and after that you can simply go to the uh, chart style and take the background color none and chart border color none okay so that is how we have created this one and you can change the colors also if you want just double click and let's say for the key value we want to take uh, this color so you can take this color and similarly for the chart title also you can choose the color whatever you want let's say this one okay so accordingly you can just create so that is how we have created these all cards then to create the charts what we have done we can create the chart from here like here we are creating the restock needed by the supplier so what we can do we can just make the copy of this rectangle copy and paste and we can make this bigger like this or you can just go back to the powerpoint and uh, just make this bigger here and pick this yellow handle move to the left hand side now just make a copy and come to the google sheet and paste it here now we can put our chart over this shape so you can be let's insert a chart first blank chart and then we can keep this chart here and let's say i'm just creating the chart for this one the stock needed by supplier so let's come to the support sheet and here just double click and change the range so first we will take the range for supplier supplier name is available on column e so just double click just click here so it will take automatically e to e and add another range and in this range we will add the the stock needed this one just click on okay so our chart is looking like this first we will change this chart type let's say i'm taking area here and then let's check this aggregate then use row one as header all right then you can add the chart title also that is restock needed by supplier align the let's take the color black and font around 14 and take the center alignment okay so this chart is ready then you can go to the customize chart style fill none here chart border as none and then you can change the color as you want or you can make this slightly smooth you can change the color also from the series let's say i want to take this color then you can change this okay so that is how we have created this one and if you want to remove the grid lines you can just click on the grid lines just click here and uncheck the major grid lines then you can add the data labels also to add the data label you can go to the series and just add the data label. all right so that is how we have created this type of chart similarly we have created the other charts also now i will show you the formula of the search field so first what we have done we have created a drop down here and that drop down we have taken the range from search a5 till m5 that is this one a5 till m5 okay to create the drop down you can simply right click on any cell right click and just go to the drop down and then you can select the drop down from a range then you can select that range let's say i'm selecting this from a5 till m5 just click on ok so that drop down is appearing here if you want to remove this type of chip uh, style you can just take the plain arrow so you can just uh, scroll it down go to the advanced option and just take here arrow and done so it is in the arrow format so that is how we have created this then here we have just put this formula filter then we are taking all range of the data which is available in column a to m then we have used is error function and we are using search we are searching this m3 which is the keyword whatever you will put there and then we are checking where we should search this so we are matching using the choose call function we are matching where this column is available so it will fetch that particular column range only okay using this match function so whatever column you will select and it will search there and accordingly it will show the filtered data here all right then here we have just used the count a function so it will give you the count of the search items all right friends so friends that is how we have created this inventory management dashboard in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching